I had so much fun at RavenCon 2023. So this video is um, not really a haul exactly, but I'll show you some stuff I've gotten recently. But I'm basically going to be kind of talking about my weekend. I um, didn't um, do a lot of footage or, or a lot of images, but I did do, you know, some videos and I took some pictures and being so caught up in everything that was going on, I forgot to post any of it to social media. Uh, yeah, I, my brain just wasn't working. I literally forgot that I had apps on my phone to share this content. So I'm putting it all together now. So <laughs> let's just get into it. The festivities um, started on Friday. So that's when we headed out uh, for it. Um, I had actually taken um, the day off before to take care of some things that we needed to do in preparation for the weekend, including dropping Margie off at the Donkey Motel, which you'll be seeing her kind of at the end of this. And so I'll be posting like pictures and video that we'll be, you know, looking together in this video, showing you kind of how the weekend went. So we start out and here we are on the road, just, you know, heading out there. We um, were really just concerned about getting out of Hampton Roads to get to the convention, which was in Richmond. There was, you, you just always have um, traffic, um, tunnel at the traffic. That's just how it is. But as soon as we got through that, it was smooth sailing. So let's see what else we have. Um, let's see here. I know I should have planned this a little bit better, but I wanted to be, you know, somewhat candid. So this is, and of course, I, like I said, I'm such a kind of a dingus right now. I didn't take um, as many pictures of things that I should have. Like I didn't take a picture of the art, art, artist and author alley or the dealer's room. So I have a few little images here and there, but I was just enjoying myself and just living in the moment instead of trying to capture it. So this is what I did capture. So the location of it was, hold on, I think I have a, a flyer of it here. Yes. So the location of the Raven Con this year was at a place called Virginia Crossing. And so that's what their little brochure looks like because there's so much green and it you can't see it because of the green screen. I might pop the image up. We'll see. So that basically there are these three different buildings that are all connected by tunnels. And so the first little clip that we're going to look at is us going through the tunnel for the first time. Here we go. So this is legit a tunnel that we're going through. <laughs> and that's what they have the signs for all the tunnels. So this takes us from one building to the, to next. the next. Okay. It did look a little sketchy at first, but since there's other people <laughs> walking through the tunnel, I feel safe. <laughs> oh. Raven Con is definitely an adventure. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, we, you'll, we'll be going through the tunnels some more. <laughs> I got a lot of footage of that. I don't know why, but I was just fascinated by these tunnels. I mean, basically what you're looking at are these old buildings that were like part of a plantation. And so, you know, these are really rich people. And so they had ways for servants to move back and forth from these three buildings, which later on is going to come really in handy when it's raining later. And we didn't want to get caught by the rain but let's see what else I have so I've got some signage uh, we walked past some people who had gone to the event last year and they were like oh yeah the signage is way better this year I mean the place was an absolute labyrinth but the signage was so good that you really couldn't be lost for very long all you had to do was find one of these brightly colored signs and you could figure out where you were going and so um, one of the buildings one of the things I took a picture of is this is um, just a part of it. This is not even the whole wall, but they had this wall that was plastered with all the different like games that people were going to be playing and like when they were going to be doing like game tournaments and different things like that. And so if you um, want to zoom in on the picture and see exactly what it is, it's just all these different games. When you walked up to this level, there's literally a table out and it just had like games on it. You could pick one up put it, uh, bring it into one of the rooms and just like start um, a game with someone. And so, like I said, this picture is just part of it. It's literally the whole wall plastered with the different games and like tournaments and things that were going on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and let's see here. 
we did go, they had um, a restaurant in the building um, that was called the Glen. And then right next to it, they had a bar called the Tavern. And so we decided to um, eat in the Tavern that evening. I was able to find something on the menu that was suitable. I did ask the chef just to clarify to make sure that what I was ordering was safe. And so I got myself a nice you know, salad that I was able to eat. And um, I don't remember what Eric ate, but he enjoyed it. So um, this was us at the restaurant. This was me kind of going through my packet and seeing the different things that the con had provided for me in terms of like my badge and my little placard. And um, let me see if I can pull the placard out now just to show you. It was really cool the way they did it. So it's, you know, my little name on the front, but on the back of it, it has your schedule. So you knew like where to go and um, when and everything. So I thought that was really cool that they did that. So I was going through it and also they gave us, you know, a copy of the program for the event. And so I went through that that evening when we sat to have a little bit of uh, dinner. And here is another <laughs> video of us going through a tunnel. Let's see what this one is. Just recording more video of us traveling through the tunnels. For evidence. For evidence, <laughs> exactly. Let <laughs> me turn my guitar on. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but it is kind of cool. Like you said, it's like Vegas. You never have to go outside while you're here. You go from building to building, building, building through these tunnels. It's pretty cool. So yeah, again, not sure why, but I was just absolutely fascinated with the tunnels. So I think we'll see that at least one more time before we get to the end of it. So the first day, like I said, I did actually go to the um, dealer's room and um, I never buy anything on the first day because I like to look and see what things are, but I did pick up um, a really cool bookmark the first day. This one vendor, uh, Fireside Workshop, has these dinosaurs and they wear like top hats and monocles and um, bowler hats and things like that. And they're called the Dapper Dinos. And I really wanted a Dapper Dino, but I decided to get some a book instead. But anyway, so that was the only thing that I really picked up the first day because it was just kind of taking it easy. All right. So let's look at our video of us arriving on the second day. It's a nice little one getting to all of the different estate buildings are we ready oh look at those clouds we definitely need to get inside cannonball and we'll, and we'll never have to uh leave again once we're inside cannon. <laughs> i see the cannon i see it all right here we go and I do have some um, better like images of the buildings themselves. So I'll put those up just so if anyone's interested in seeing like what the uh, buildings like actually look like. Um, if the, I'd say they're better images just because the camera's moving around, but they're really not that good. So do what you will with them. You should be looking at them now. Um, it was just, I thought it was just a really cool location. So like I said, being is that I am, I didn't take a lot of pictures of all the kinds of cool stuff that was there, but I do have a few things to share um, as far as pictures that I took. So this is RavenCon, <laughs> which, you know, focuses on science fiction and horror and some fantasy. So you'll see all kinds of um, interesting things. So this was um, a display that was just out in the lobby <laughs> uh, when you um, came in to register. So I was like, yeah, that's very typical RavenCon. Uh, let's see if there was another image I thought. So this is actually a picture of one of the vendors from the dealer's room. This was the moment that I realized I forgot to do any footage of the, <laughs> of the dealer's room, but this was basically like, um, I uh, can't remember the name of it. Um, but it was like a curio kind of, um, shop and she just had like stuff, junk and stuff, stuff and junk, look, but cool stuff too mixed in. It's not so cool. So just, just, you know, stuff you've been in those kinds of shops. And so this was her basket of gloves. And I was like, I got to take a picture of that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, but I had to take a picture of that. All right. So let's see. We also, the um, Star Wars troop. I don't want to say it wrong. I should have looked in the program. <sighs> I feel bad because I was saying it all weekend. Like, oh yeah, you know, 
And now, of course, my brain is just not working. I want to say it's, is it 51? Oh, shoot. I put it on the screen. But as you can see, um, we took some pictures of their helmets. But of course, like I said, the dinguses that we were, we didn't actually take pictures of any of the guys actually wearing their helmets because <laughs> our brains were just not working right. All right, so let's see. Um, on the second day, that was when I did the panel where we talked about the RavenCon anthology COVID-19 that was part of the fundraiser to help basically restore, save, and kind of maintain RavenCon during the pandemic because it, it destroyed a lot of conventions. And so there was a Kickstarter that raised a bunch of money and also the anthology. And so I have a story in the first one. And again, because of the green sting, you can't see some of it because those parts are obviously green. And so I think I'm going to be submitting a story for the second one, but I don't know. I was very kind of motivated at the weekend to do it, but now I'm like, I don't know about this anyway. <laughs> So um, that was the panel. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of that. Um, let's see here. So immediately kind of after, you know, having this panel where we were talking and discussing like motivations to some of our stories, we talked about the theme, the process, we immediately did a signing. And so that was really fun being able to um, sign other people's books. And even many of the authors, like we went around and got signatures from the other people who um, participated in it. So I thought that was really a lot of fun. And so, oh, here is a staircase that we were walking down and here's me just giving an update, which again, remember these were supposed to be posted live as they were happening, but I didn't do it, so. All right, so I finished the Raven Con Corbett 19 panel where we talked about the anthology and then we did a signing and that was a lot of fun. And I'm walking down this really cool staircase. I'm gonna find me some stuff at the dealer's room. And yeah, so that was fun so far. Let's see what else we have. All right, so at the dealer's room, I did end up on, um, I think the first day buying a book and there were several uh, horror movie hosts there. One of the uh, main uh, guests of the event was um, a horror host again i have to put the name up there but another one who was there was dr sarcophagus and he has this book there are no bad movies and basically um it's an argument for you to be able to argue for a movie that you like but everyone else hates <laughs> and i thought that was a fun concept so i picked that up also we went to um they had a uh, gallery art show and also a silent auction to where any of the items in the gallery that were for sale, you could bid on them. And so I bid on two prints. And so I got them. Um, that's one. And these are both by the same artist. And here is the other one. And I'll, those were two of the things that I got on day two. Let's see, is there anything else that I am missing? from day two. Oh, and there's the picture of us standing at the end of that staircase just because we were coming down and you can see it. So there it is. But let's see what. So the next day um, was Sunday, which is that's the, if you've ever been to one of these three day cons, Sunday is the day where people start to like head out early, pack up and things like that. But they still had some programming going on. So I decided, you know, let's do this. And so I had a reading. Um, I had two separate readings. One was just like an individual reading where I could read from some of my um, other or own works. And then later on, we did the anthology reading. So when I did my individual reading, I read from my short story collection, Legend of the Boy in the Window and other short stories. I shared uh, a sample from the boy, a legend of the boy, and then a sample from in the window. And so this is just basically me introducing people to my short fiction and letting them know that I'm very excited about what I'm working on now. And hopefully we'll have that released next year. So let's see. Um, after that, like I said, I did the RavenCon. Um, no, I'm sorry. The Corvid 19 anthology reading where I read a sample from my story, Song of the Raven. 
And then we decided to just finish things up, um, get anything that we wanted to get from the deals room that we hadn't gotten yet. In further support of the event, I bought a button that represents the um, anthology. I was like, why, why not have that? And so here's a few other things that we picked up. So they had a rookery, which I forget exactly what the rookery stands for, but that's basically where they had like the children's programming. And so <laughs> my husband was very excited to pick this up. It's basically a pattern for how to create your own dice. And so six-sided dice, um, multiple-sided dice, it's, it's all on here. You fold them up. And so they were also handing out this guide for manga and anime terms to some of the youth. And so we got a copy of that just because we thought it was cool. And let's see, in my little bag here, I got some things. So. I have this thing, um, which you've probably heard me talk about if you haven't, you haven't watched enough of my videos, but um, I love bookmarks. So of course I picked up more of those than I could possibly need, but I did uh, purchase one specifically. It's a wooden bookmark. You guys know I love wooden bookmarks and it says, shh, I'm reading on it. So I got myself a new wooden bookmark. And I'll be right back with the other item. I am back. <laughs> you know, this will all be like edited away, so it'll be fine. So here's the really cool thing that we got. I'm hoping you'll be able to see it. Well, no, I'm trying to think, is there something maybe? If I put something white behind it. I think you'll be able to see it better. Let's try a sheet of paper. Here we go. So I'm gonna put the sheet of paper up and see if that'll help you see it. So it's a glass with a Ravencon etching on it. Yeah. So that was one of the really cool things that we got from the weekend. And so, yeah, uh, let's see if there's anything else here that I need to show. Um, like I said, I did do a reading. Um, so here are some pictures of me in the room. They have like a little library there. So this is where I was set up for the reading. I know it looks like the room is empty because there's an empty chair next to me, but there was like a handful of people around. So. So, okay, so. we've been here all this time and Charity hasn't gone through the tunnel yet. So here we go. We're taking yeah, her. Looks creepy. <laughs> Doesn't it though? What is this? It looks so creepy. Oh, but it's, it's, like it's not. It's like the boiler room of some school somewhere. And, yeah. and you just, it just keeps. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, there so. I don't like this. It, it is. It does take some t getting used to. It does. But see, look, look, they put beautiful pictures. Well, of course so they yeah, did. So they, they, they have want to lull you into complacency. <laughs> when something like drops like, down and. Look, there's something pretty. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that disembodied voice or that head coming out of the wall. Look yeah. at the picture instead. Yeah. <laughs> it, the wall's yeah, bleeding. I know. yeah, no, that's not the wall weeping. I promise. It's just a picture. Just stare at the picture. <laughs> but yeah, I love these tunnels. They're very oh, creepy, no. but, but they came in handy earlier when it was raining really bad yeah. so what do you think of the tunnel i'm waiting for like a zombie to come jumping from out there somewhere <laughs> and it'll going. be a world it, war it, z it, zombie it, it won't be a slow one it'll be the fast yeah one that's the, running and, and, and we're still walking yeah we're or still one walking of these pictures is gonna start moving <laughs> oh i, I, I don't know which one don't start moving people on it so oh I'm my goodness but it is faster than the hampton road bridge tunnel <laughs> <laughs> That's <not insane. laughs> All right, I think we, we finally made it, which I think we have to turn right back around because wasn't that the building? No, no, no. We were going back to the Jefferson. Oh, we're, oh, yeah. yeah so going to the All right, here we are. We I made it. Yes, we, we made survived. It. Barely. Yes. I feel like we should go get one of those hot dogs and put it down. Oh, no. Sacrifice. We're not doing that hot no, dog ever. <laughs> oh, the food. So... <laughs> we decided to have a hot dog on the first day and we didn't, this is our fault. We didn't pay attention. Um, it said that it was a foot long hot dog. And so I was thinking I've eaten a foot long hot dog before. No big deal. If I'm not eating anything else, that'll be fine. Um, I didn't know that it came with a bag of chips, but still I was thinking once they said, oh, it comes with a bag of chips. I'm like, I'll just put the chips to the side and eat that later. It's still not that big a deal. And then they um, 
gave us the hot dogs and they were a half pound hot dog. I didn't even know that existed. I I was so disgusted <laughs> by this monstrosity. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this other than use it for protection to beat someone over the head? Needless to say, um, I ate half of it. Um, I did, of course, I did not eat my chips and I really did not want to waste it. Like I really loathe wasting food, but I feel like that was false advertisement. Like I've eaten a foot long hot dog before. I have never eaten a half pound hot dog before. And I'm just like, what in the world is this? So that was some like that was <laughs> that was very traumatic on the second day. Um, we went back to where we got the monstrosity hot dogs and got a look at their pretzels and we're like, okay, I think we could eat one of these pretzels if we just share it. We don't have to get anything else to go with it. And so here is the pretzel that we ate on the last day. I did not feel grotesque after eating it. I didn't have any weird sweats going on, <laughs> but yeah. So again, I'm not like mad that this half pound hot dog exists if someone wants to eat that, but I feel like that should be written on the thing. This is a half pound hot dog. Foot long does not prepare you for this. And I never would have ordered it had I known. Or let me let me rephrase that. We would have ordered that and cut it in half and shared it. And that would have been because I ended up eating just half the hot dog. Anyway, I didn't eat the chips because I didn't even know it came with the chips. Like that's just too much food for anybody. Anyway, sorry about that tangent. <laughs> But let's see if there's anything else I missed. So then, of course, we had to go back and pick up Margie. And she was very upset with us. <laughs> she was excited that we picked her up, but she was mad at us. Uh, apparently, her anxiety got the better of her. And on her last day, they had to, like, spend a significant amount of time, like, hugging her and petting her. But that's just Margie. I mean, We'll, we'll, next time we have to go on a trip, we'll see if maybe we can get like a dog sitter or something. But this is her like not wanting to um, speak to us in the car. And then this is her not wanting to speak to us at home. So uh, Margie, I don't think had the best weekend, but I had a blast. Um, on top of all of the fun we had at RavenCon, we got to spend some time with, with some friends who live in the area. They actually let us stay with them so we could save money on the hotel. And it was just wonderful to kind of hang out with them. Um, we, we got a Star Wars coaster for our friend as a thank you. Um, he sent us home with a box of old uh, comic books because he knows we're into that kind of stuff. But overall, RavenCon 2023 was a really wonderful experience. And I'm sorry I didn't share any of this stuff live as it was happening but you now have the rundown. So, all right, guys, uh, let me know if you went to RavenCon, if you have any cons coming up, I'd love to hear about it. I think I'm going to be doing GalaxyCon this summer because my niece has requested it. So until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Psst, hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay.